How effective is fuel reduction burning? The fuel reduction unit uses computer modelling to predict the spread of bushfires around the state, to analyse the risks to life, property and natural values. Case study, Bishano. A 33 degree summer's day with winds gusting to 28 kilometres an hour. At 1pm, a fire ignites five kilometres outside the township in an area of dry forest. Most firefighting crews along the east coast and several aircraft are already working on a large fire to the south of Bishano. This is what happens next. In one hour, the fire has spread 11 hectares and is increasing rapidly. At this point, it is crucial that the fire is brought under control quickly. However, in this scenario, crews couldn't reach the fire before it jumped the road and developed into a crown fire as it burned into the Apsley Conservation Area. By 7pm, it is now a major fire with smoke and ash affecting Bishano. Most crews will be preparing to protect properties where flames up to 25 metres are threatening homes along the Tasman Highway north of Bishano. By 10pm, conditions are moderating. If a cold front were to pass through overnight, the fire could burn into Bishano. This will cut the highway and shut down critical services to the community. However, a fuel reduction burn was undertaken in this area of the Apsley Conservation Area in autumn 2015. When a bushfire occurs, the result is now very different. With a fuel reduction burn in the area three years before, the bushfire can ignite. However, with less fuel load on the ground, the fire is smaller, slower, and much easier for firefighters to contain and control. When a bushfire is coming, what type of fire would you prefer it to be? Fuel reduction, reducing fuels for safer communities.